So it's uh, mid-afternoon, I've had my lunch, and now it's coffee time, of course. So what I thought I'd do is I just wanted to share with you my brew kit that I put together using my Fire Maple heat exchanger pot and a few other things. If you're interested in seeing what I have, keep watching. Okay, so this is not a review of my Fire Maple uh, heat exchanger pot. I've already done that in another video, and if you're interested, it's uh, you can go back and see that. And it's a, it's a great little pot. In fact, that's the reason why I turned it into a brew kit is because I think it's just about perfect for the application I'm putting it to. The reason I'm using this, the reason I wanted to share with you is because most of the time when you look at these heat exchanger pots, you think of them using them with uh, gas stoves. You hardly ever think about using them with alcohol stoves. And that's what I wanted to do was to create an alcohol stove based kit using my heat exchanger pot so I could take advantage of the shorter boil times and the fuel savings that the heat exchanger offers. So let me just open the kit. I'll show you the components of it. I don't have much in the way of specifications for you, but I'll give you some weights anyway. Okay, so obviously the nylon sack that the pot did come in, in the bottom of the sack, this is a piece of aluminum flashing, and that's for placing it underneath my alcohol stove, as you'll see in a moment. Just in case you're on a surface, you want a little bit more stability and maybe a little less heat transferring down. So the brew kit is all contained inside of here. Take the lid off. So right in the top of my brew kit, I have a couple of things, a plastic bag, two little bottles of alcohol. Each of those are two ounces of alcohol. Uh, those are the five hour energy bottles emptied out. They make great little transportation for uh, small amounts of alcohol. There's also a small lighter in here. There is a little piece of string that I use as a wick to light my stoves with and a small piece of carbon fiber. It was an off cut from another project. I'll tell you what that's all about in a moment. Inside here, I have wrapped up in a one of those shop cloths. They're like the paper towels, except heavy duty that you can get for around the shop. And I just use that clean up one, but it also just keeps the inside of the pot from being scratched. I'm going to speak to this separately in just a moment because I think that it's, it's worth talking about. And the final thing inside here, another piece of aluminum flashing is started out his life as another project uh, that I abandoned. So that's why the holes all in it and the markings on the inside. But this is my windscreen that will go around the base. So, so I'll put that aside for now. All right, so this is the pot. You've seen it before. There's the heat exchanger on the bottom, small, lightweight, markings on the side up to one liter, silicone covered handles. It's a perfect size for a brew kit or even a cook kit if you wanted to use this for your lunches. Works out very good. Now, where did I put my specifications? And I'll give you some numbers on this. Okay, as far as the pot itself goes, so the pot is only 6.7 ounces or 190 grams. Very, very lightweight. And the this is one of those Trangia clones. This ha the burner is actually an Alox. It came separate from the stand. I'll talk to the that in a moment. But the stand itself came, comes in at 1.3 ounces. That's pretty lightweight aluminum, 38 grams. The Trangia clone comes in at 3.5 ounces or 97 grams. So all told, the entire cook at minus the alcohol because you know everybody's going to carry it differently is 11.5 ounces or 325 grams. So well under a pound. So I did want to talk about the stove setup for a reason. So uh, I bought the, this quite some time ago off of AliExpress. It, they, they were super cheap and they still are. They're, they're not expensive even now. The burner that came with it was okay. The, I just had an Alox burner, which is a grade up. It's like the Esbid burners. They're still clones of the Trangia, either way you look at it. But there was nothing wrong with the one that came with the stand. I just upgraded a little bit. And the reason I did is because, no, that's right. This one had a simmer ring. The one that came with it did not. I think you'll find them both ways on AliExpress if you're looking for one. So if a uh, simmer ring, and that's part of the reason why I chose this is because it does have a simmer ring. So a couple of things here. Uh, okay, I did try other alcohol stoves to see if I could make this kit lighter, and obviously I could. Homemade Fancy Feast alcohol stoves, the wick stove, uh, works great with this. The flame will still come up, spread out through the heat exchanger. You'll get a faster boil time, less fuel use. That works great. I've used a number of the DIY ones. I used a couple of other ones like the Lixada siphon stove as well. It worked great. It requires a stand of some type, so that's where I dug this out and thought it would work well with this stand. 
it's, it's not a perfect match. Then I said, why am I not just using the Trangier or one of its clones that is designed to go with this? Because it has some real advantages. As we know, you can store fuel inside them as long as the ring hasn't dried out and the ring is still good in this one. Uh, so you can still store fuel inside of them. That's obviously one advantage for them. And the other advantage is the snuff ring slash simmer ring. So I can do simmering as well as just putting my flame out and saving any fuel that didn't get used in it. But here is the thing about this stand. Now, I'm making a point of showing you this for a reason. I watched a video by another reviewer with a much larger channel than I review this setup recently, and he just ripped it to shreds. Honestly, he said it was the worst thing that you could possibly get. Now, I watched his video, and I don't know what he got as a, as a sample, but it didn't look, or it didn't function anywhere near like mine. He, you know, he gave it a really, really bad rating. I give it a really, really good rating because it can be used in a number of different ways. So number one, it's intended to be used like this, right? It has a standoff of about three quarters of an inch to the bottom of the pot, maybe not ideal for combustion, but still very functional. That's about the same as the one that comes with a Trangia if you're using the small uh, holder for it. But this will do a couple of things differently as well. Have you ever noticed that there is a line around here on the Trangias? Well, this will be grabbed onto by those three protrusions. And I think maybe that's what happened to his. There's actually two grooves, one here and one at the top. The thing will actually sit inside of those grooves. Now, it's not the bottom ones, but it's this one I want to show you. So yes, I've reduced the pot gap a little bit by doing that, by putting it in that groove. But there's space at the bottom, and this is where that small piece of carbon felt comes in. So I found in using this over the winter in really cold weather that I could get this up to functioning temperature faster if I took that piece of aluminum, that little bit of carbon felt, a couple of drops of alcohol on the carbon felt, laid this on top of it, lit it, laid this on top of it that I could preheat the alcohol stove up to a temperature so the alcohol got warmer so that when I lit it, it went to bloom right away. Now I'm talking about a few drops, not a lot, because if you put a lot on, you'll get this thing blooming and, and flames coming out of it like that. So you don't want a lot of alcohol on it. Works for me. And then it, when if I uh, was ready to light it up or just before I lit it up, I could push it down so it's at the more uh, proper height for a better pop gap in it. So very simple. I like this. Honestly, I quite do. Now I've seen people use them other ways, like upside down. Could use it like that as well. I don't know about that. It's not the way I would use it. You could put pots on. You know what? Stay with the standard the way it was designed to be used and you won't go wrong. Works out very well. In fact, why don't I demonstrate it and make some coffee? All right, so that's that little piece of carbon felt I talked about. It's just a little off cut from another project. And what I would do is lay it down like that, put a few drops of alcohol on it, raise the burner up to, in the, to that first level, light that, lay it right down on top, and uh, it would go for a minute or so, it would preheat. I could push this down and then light that inside and it would be blooming right away. So very efficient, very fast way as a preheater for your Trangia or your Trangia clone. But it's warm out today, I don't need this, so I'm not gonna be using it. I just wanted to show it to you. But what I will do is very quickly light this up, put my pot on and wait for it to come to a boil, the water that is so that I can make some coffee with it. A little piece of string like this can be handy when, if you're using a small, tiny lighter like this one. Touch it to the alcohol. Little lighters are a little harder to use. There we go. So that lit the uh, burner up. Daylight, oh, it's, yeah, it's going. Hard to see. It still will take a second for that to bloom. And uh, then I'll put the pot on. Just a little bit of water, enough for a cup of coffee. And it's starting to bloom. I can hear it so more than I can see it. So, all dirty on the bottom here. Oh, I can see it blooming now. So I can lay this on top. It's just big enough, really, to um, put the pot on top, put my windscreen around. That's all there is to it. I'm gonna wait a few minutes, and when it's come to a boil, I'll make a, a cup of coffee, because uh, I can show you the coffee cup, or the coffee maker I'm using today as well. All right, my water has come to a boil. Take that off of the burner. Snuff it out. 
So I have set up today is the GSI Coffee Rocket. I've talked about it in another video. I don't know if I ever did a review on it, but I've certainly used it in other videos. Great little coffee maker. It was a gift. I don't know now that I've used it that I would have purchased it for myself. It does work, but it's in the $35 range, so I don't know that it's necessary to spend that much. It does fit well. It's all designed to fit down inside the GSI Infinity mug, so uh, it's good from that point of view. I have it loaded with coffee, and what you do is you let it drain into the coffees a little bit to get it started, and then I'll just fill the hopper right up and then let that drain through into my mug below. All right, so that's just going to take a minute to drain through. And when it's done, I just want to wrap this video up with a, a few more comments. You know, I complained about the price of the GSI coffee rocket, but it does make a nice cup of coffee. Okay, let me just set that down. It's still quite warm. Okay, so what was the point of this video? It was not to sell you on the Fire Maple uh, one liter heat exchanger pot, but more to suggest that this is something that works well with alcohol stoves, not just with a gas stove. So just to give you an idea of a little bit more versatility, the simplicity of this pot, markings on the side, fold out handles, and that heat exchanger make it ideal for combining with other things other than gas. Now, I wouldn't use this over a wood stove. And the only reason is I think it wouldn't take long before the heat exchanger itself was gummed up, especially if any softwood or any sort of any type really would gum that up and would ruin it. It certainly would stop working as effectively. But over any other type of a clean flame, I think this is a great little canister to do your boiling with. You don't need to have a kettle necessarily. This is kind of an all-round do-all type of thing. So that's what it was all about. Oh, I don't think I mentioned with the Trangia clone that I have, and even though the pot gap is only about three quarters of an inch, remember when you put this on top, you're adding another half inch to the top of it. So you've gone to an inch and a quarter to the bottom of the pot itself. Of course, it's the all about the heat exchanger where the heat is being grabbed around the outside of it. So I can consistently get sub seven minute boils with this. So well under an ounce, the ounce actually will run for better than 11 minutes most of the time, but some sub seven minute boils. So I could probably get away with close to a half an ounce. That's with two cups of water. I ran this with about 400 mils of water for my cup of coffee today. I had quite a bit of alcohol left over in the bottom of the stove. It ran probably five, six minutes, but I just want to put it out there that in testing, seven minutes would be the upper limit, two cups of water, one ounce of alcohol would then run out at about 11 minutes. A uh, huge increase in performance over other stoves or other pots. Not a huge increase, but significant enough to make it worthwhile in that you'll save time, but more importantly, you save fuel. That's what this was all about. Okay, if you have any comments or questions about either the pot or the bargain stove that I showed you, put them in the comments section below. I'll put links to the video where I reviewed this pot and I'll put links to where I purchased, or at least that, not that one, but one just like it because I've had that seven or eight years, but I'll put links to one just like it from AliExpress if you're interested in it. Again, I don't know what it was that the other guy got in his hands, but it's not this one. This one is a quality product. So take that into consideration when you're looking at them. Make sure it looks like a reputable buyer, reputable buyer when you look at it and uh, look at the reviews to see how many good reviews or how many reviews it's had at all. And I think you'll be okay. It's actually quite a nice little setup with that Trangia clone and the pot set itself. All right, that's enough. Get out and explore. Take that path, less travel, because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.